What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this banner right here for free and fix it. Let's get into it. Alright, once you're here, click create new, and then do 500 by 500, name it whatever you want, and then go back up here to layer, add images layer, add your character, just like that, and then go over here to this tool, the shape, change fill to whatever color, I'm going to do black. Next, what you're going to want to do is go over here to your text tool and then write your name out. Make it around size 300 because it's just going to be for a background. Change your font. I'm going to go with Acura Expanded. Stretch it out like that. And then I'm going to change the color to this cool little purplish red color and then drag it underneath my character. All right, next what you're gonna wanna do is go over here to your brush, create a new layer, drag it underneath your character but above your text, make the size around 290, softness in the 60s, and then change your color to the background color so it finds black and just line underneath like that all right next what you're gonna want to do is go up here to layer add your background and all the images that I'm using in this video I'll put in the description so that you guys can use them as well if you like and then just resize this thing but that looks good and then drag it below your other two, go back to the layer where you did the first line, fill in the bottom like that, and then do it around the edges and the top, just like that. Go back to your background, lower the opacity, give it a bit, maybe a bit higher, just like that. All right, next, what you're gonna wanna do is go over here, to this little plus sign, make an empty layer. Go back to your brush, bring the softness down and the size as well. And then change the color to white. And then you can just start dotting like that and change the size so it looks kind of random. And do a couple of them, not too many though. like that and then drag this above but below your character and then what you're gonna do is go here to your lasso tool right click the dot click select pixels go to your gradient change your colors I'm gonna do dark blue and purple so let's choose that and then just drag your gradient across like that. Go up here to select, deselect them. Make a new layer on top of your previous dots, but still below your character. Go back to your brush, change the size a bit. Let's do a few more like that. Maybe one more small one around there. And then Go back to your lasso tool, right click the dots, select pixels. Alright, now do the gradient, change your colors again, back to dark blue and purple, like that. Do the other direction now, so like that. And then deselect your pixels. Now it should look like this, and you could lower the opacity little bit just like that there we go next what we're gonna do is go above make a new layer on top go back to your brush bring the softness down to zero and the size to around two zoom in like that and then just fill in the eyes with white
all right once you've done that what you're gonna want to do is go back up here to layer add images layer choose the lens flare image i'll be putting these in the description resize the bit just like that and then duplicate the layer size it down because this eye is a little bit smaller be a bit bigger like that and the next what we're gonna do is go up here to adjustment hue and saturation colorize it make it purple like that all right go over to the other one go up here to adjustment hue and saturation colorize it and then Make it purple as well and then what you could do is you can merge this down so that they're one layer and then lower the opacity a bit by maybe around 90 and then go back up to layer add images layer and then grab the lightning drag this above like that Go to adjustment, hue and saturation, colorize it, make that purple as well, and then just resize, maybe around right there, that looks good, and then you can duplicate this by right clicking, and turn it, make it a bit smaller for the other eye, just like that and then so the colors pop a bit more just duplicate the layers by right clicking on them and clicking that button right there or you could just right click the image itself and duplicate so it looks like that and then next what we're going to do is lock all these layers by right clicking just locking like that Alright, next what we're going to do is go back to your character, unlock it, go up, and then temperature and tint, bring those both down to negative 100. Then what we're going to do is go back up to layer, add images layer, grab your other lightning, and then adjustment, human saturation, colorize, make that the same color like that make it a bit smaller there you go and then right click duplicate it bring this one down to the bottom like that all right next what we're gonna do is go through the layer again add in the layer grab your chain and then you go over to filter details motion blur the amount on five and put the angle at about 101 just like that and then turn it and just all right next what you're gonna want to do is go over here to your eraser tool go to the layer with the chain on it like that make your eraser a little bit smaller around eight is good and then start erasing where it goes in front of your character so that it kind of looks like it's going behind them just like that maybe make it a bit cleaner like so all right next what you're going to want to do is go over here to your brush put the size at around 290 and the softness in the 60s and then grab your color and then just start dotting around like this Alright, then go over here, lower the opacity to about 29, just like that. Alright, next what we're going to do is go back to the character, go up here to filter, glitches, RGB split, put the distance at around 3, that looks good, and then change the color to whatever matches, I think that one looks good. And then what you're going to want to do next is go to the top layer, right click, and 
flatten image just like that and then go up to adjustment temperature and tint bring the tint all the way down and the temperature can go down a little bit as well just like that and then we're done with this part and you could either leave it like this or you could go over to text make it a bit more personalized and write your name choose whatever font you like Lower the size, maybe around 90. Like that. All right, next what you can do is right click it, rasterize the layer, go over to your lasso tool, right click again, select pixels, grab your gradient, change the colors, just like that. And then Keep dragging until you find one you like. All right, that looks good. Go up to select, deselect, and then you're pretty much done. All right, thank you guys for watching. Peace.